Okay, let me show you a magic trick. Watch carefully. A coin is placed in the container and then the container slides into this box. Now take the container back out again and it's gone. Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Today I'm going to make the coin magic kit set by Karakuri Creation Group. For anyone who doesn't know KCG, Karakuri is a group of highly skilled artists who create a lot of collector grade puzzle boxes based in Japan. They build their art pieces at the highest quality and you can check their products out at their website. I will put a link in the description below. This is actually my fourth DIY video on this channel, but then this piece is slightly different as the name suggests. It is more a magic kit rather than a puzzle box kit. I will be making more DIY videos, so please click the subscribe button now and you will not miss out. Anyway, let us see how this kit set compares to the others, shall we? Okay, so every DIY work kit set I have made previously has the same packaging and this one is no different. We'll first open the outer cellophane wrap. The pieces of wood and the nicely printed instructions menu will fall out. These instruction menus look really good in full color print, which exudes some really positive and cheerful energy. On the back it shows the mechanism of the box, which I will skip for now to leave some suspense. After opening the second packaging, all the pieces will come into place, laying them out in the sequence to make the whole process smoother. First I will find the base piece and there is this piece with the two circular holes in it. Each hole matches with the base piece, then the two long thin strips. Usually the instructions are rather self-explanatory but this time I do not want to mess it up so I fired up Google Translate to make sure I have the orientation of these strips correct. However the translation didn't make much sense because I think it's a word for word translation. So after doing some more trial and error guessing, I have decided on what I think will work best which is that there should be no gaps between the piece with the two holes and the strips on the sides. So I'll move on and start to apply glue for the strips. I have to be very careful not to apply too much glue because uh, the glue may interfere with the moving movement of the sliding piece. Similarly for the second piece, I am being extra careful. At this point before the glue is dry, I place the sliding piece into the whole thing to make sure the st strips are parallel to each other and the piece with the two circular holes can slide smoothly from end to end. Otherwise the mechanism may not work which basically defeats the whole thing. Anyway now everything is okay and confirmed to be fine. The next step is to stick the four small blocks at the end at the short ends of the base piece. These should act as stoppers to stop the sliding piece from coming out of the box. This is how it looks like after sticking everything up in place, making sure it is aligned properly and leaving a gap in between for the mechanism to work. Last, time, last chance to check the sliding piece working properly just in case the alignment has altered. Then it is time to close up the whole part of the box, applying glue and sticking the face of the box. Again I have to be extra careful with this step, as this time it is even more difficult to adjust if the glue stops the sliding mechanism to work. So I have decided to apply the glue with my finger and removing any excess glue in the process, making sure the glue will not overflow to the sides over the edges. Finally I have to Place the face of the box onto the glue to secure the whole box and making sure the slides are flush and now I can test the mechanism again with this toothpick like part poking it on the sides to see if it's still sliding and it's all good to go. Next up will be the build to the outer shell. This one is much more straightforward as the strips has a square cross section so it doesn't matter how I stick them. All I want to do is to have the better looking grains on the outside just for the aesthetics purpose. First taking one of the sides and then the toothpick mechanism which is the hidden at one of the ends. Finally the remaining side strip. By now the mechanism should be more obvious right? How the magic happens. The 
Finally, it's time to close the outer shell up by sticking the face onto the wall, making sure the sides are flush and the inner core can be placed within the shell. So now we're going to close up the side first and looking at which side has the better grain, like so. It's checking all the sides are flush and now I can check if this inner core can be slid into the shell. All done and it's time to pack up. So after watching me build the whole magic kit, you should have a good idea on how the whole mechanism works. Placing a coin in the hole and then slide the box into the outer shell will push the inner sliding mechanism one way but using the toothpick like pole and then this hides the coin underneath the inner core. To make it reappear, we just have to turn the inner core around and push it back on the other end of the inner core with the toothpick like pole and the sliding piece will return to its original position. To tell you the truth, I was expecting a little bit more from this set so I am a little bit disappointed that the mechanism is so simple. However, the whole effect looks pretty good. My only issue with it is that the circular hole is quite deep, so when the coin is hidden within the compartment, it will make a rattling noise when shaking the box, which defeats the whole magic trick, I'd say. Other than that, the sliding mechanism is very smooth, so no complaints in that part of the box. So the quality control by Karakuri has never let me down and it just works as advertised without skipping a beat. However, it seems that the complexity of these DIY kits are getting less and less difficult. But not to worry, I'm going to make another box next week, which should turn the whole trend around. I'm going back to create one of the classic mechanisms, which I am super looking forward to build. I'm not going to sh tell you what's going to happen, but just click the subscribe button now so you won't miss out which classic mechanism I'm going to build next week. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. In the meantime, take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye!